Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another Kickstarter preview. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the game called A Town Builder Gforden from First Fish Games. This is their second game that I know of. Uh, the first one they did was um, Get Off My Land, which I've not played yet, but it looks pretty fun. Uh, this is a quick multi-use card game, and what we're going to do is run through a game with you, yeah? So with me I have Carla. Say hi Carla. They Hello. can't see you, but yeah, she's here. <laughs> um, we're going to give you a quick brief overview of the rules of the game. Um, this is obviously prototype components, so everything you see here um, will be slightly different in the Kickstarter. They'll, you know, obviously the judges will have artwork and so on. Um, we'll put a link down in the description below so you can go follow that to the link to the Kickstarter. That's running right now and uh, it's already funded so you can jump on board and pick up a copy if you're interested. Okay, so Town Builder Kofordan is a... Uh, we're building a little district of the town and uh, we're gonna win the game by getting the most prestige points. So we get various points from building buildings. So for example this bell tower um, it has two victory points in the corner there and then these are the resources it costs and these are the special abilities and these are the resources it provides if you don't use anything else. If you've played say 51st State or Imperial Settler, those type of games this is in that type of mold um, where the cards do multiple things and I'll go over that in a second I just want to show you. So we've got a deck here with the market laid out with the different buildings we've got a couple of judges these will be different every game so there's a stack of judges and you do, um, depending on the number of players, in a two-player game that we're playing now, you have two face-up and then one more in the middle of the deck somewhere. In mo bigger ga size games, so three and four, you only have one face-up, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So they are end-game um, victory point methods. So you can say, for example, this one, if you have the most cultural buildings, you score two points. And the other one for our game is, if you have the most buildings with any abili no abilities on, you score the most points. We don't know what the other one is, so that'll come up halfway through the game and that'll give us another end of game scoring. Uh, the other things we have here, these are the award cards. So for example this one, the first person to get two buildings with three resources on it will take this and it's an immediate scoring of two points. It's resources and or gold. Yeah. The other one we have is the one with the abilities. So three buildings with the same ability type. I haven't explained abilities, but I'll get there. Okay, um, so on your turn, there's three actions you can do, of which you can take two of them, and you can do the same one twice if you want. So for example, um, from the market row, I could take any of these cards to form a foundation. So for example, if I wanted to build this church, I could take that, put it into my um, tableau area, and as soon as I've filled the resource requirements, which is two stone and a wood, it is then built, and I have a church for the end of the game scoring, which is worth three points, but in this game it has no ability, so it counts towards the most no ability buildings. But it also counts towards the culture. Oh yeah. As well, so it's a good kind of choice. Oh, I'll take that one then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah. Um, so that's how you do the foundation. Um, the other way you can do it, obviously, if you have a foundation in play already, you can take a card with a resource on it. So this one requires wood. I could, for example, take this palace which ignores the rest of it. I'm only looking at the wood bit that slides in over here and now I've added the wood so I need two more stone and the church is built. So that's one of the options. The other option is I can take a card for its money value. So the gold coin over there I can take that, put that under my um, district badge and that will then tell me this is where you store gold. I have one gold for future use which is if I wanted to build a foundation with a city where it has the gold cost in the coin, you have to pay the gold cost first. So the church didn't have it, but say the palace, which is a much more expensive building with victory points, much more worth victory points as well. Um, that one costs gold. And that's but that, right. Unlike the rest of the resources, you cannot take and lay the foundation without having gold in your storage. So it's just slightly different whereas the rest you would lay the foundation and then get the resources to build the gold um, needs to be acquired first that's right and then the last thing I'm just going to mention before we get into the game is that each of the buildings might have an ability there are three types you've got the building ability which is triggered immediately once the building is built you have the star ability which is a special action that you can do on your turn you can only one use one spare sp ah, star action on your turn we all start with a basic one, which is you're allowed to move resources between buildings. 
And then the final one, which is the crown, um, that's an end of game scoring ability. So when you get crown abilities, if you fulfill the requirements, you can score extra points at the end of the game. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to get started. All right. Uh, this is the gameplay section. I'm the first player. We've not done anything yet. We're going to get straight into the whole game because it's not a very long game. In a two-player game, when this deck runs out, the game will end. In a three-player, you go through it twice. Four-player, you go through it three times. All right, so I'm the first player because my card says so. <laughs> so I got two actions of which I can do any of the above. So as we pointed out, I want to take this church as a foundation. Such an... Thanks for po thanks for pointing that out to I'll, me. I'll try and keep this PC, but you know. <laughs> so I could do another foundation if I wanted to, but these ones all cost money, and that one doesn't. So I could take that one. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as the wood. So this one's a multi-use one. So you can either use this as wood or wheat. The church doesn't require wheat, but I am going to use it for the wood. So the wood goes in there, and that is my two actions done. So that ends my turn, and now goes to Carla's turn. First thing she does at the beginning of her turn is refresh the market row to five, and then she has the same options. So I'm going to take the bell tower as a coin, and then I'm going to take the flower stand as a foundation to build. And you have to spin the coin for that. So, yeah. So, so just so you can see there, the flower stand obviously requires only one wood to build, but before you can purchase it as a foundation, you need to spend money. So I guess Carla is done. Um, right, so beginning my turn, these refresh up. Okay, so I'm looking for stone to finish building the, the church. Um, what is that? The next foundation you build this turn costs one fewer stone. That's pretty handy. Uh, gain a resource from the discard pile. That's pretty good. So that's a once-off. Yes. So the ones with the little hammers is like an immediate... Once you built it, you get it immediately and then it doesn't do it again. Whereas the ones like this is like almost like an extra action that you get to pick. Okay, so I'm going to take the house as a as a um, foundation. It only requires two wood to build when it's done. So that'll go in there. But it also has no ability, which is obviously good for this, fan this um, requirement. Um... And then I'm also going to, you can have as many foundations as you want, but obviously at the end of the game, if you don't have any of them built, they don't score for it, they don't count for anything. And then I'm going to take this quarry, and I'm going to use it as stone, which will go in there. There you go. So refill at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Um... Oh, I don't like this. Hmm. Oh, so my flower stand has got an ability. You don't which build it yet, have you? I I have not built it yet. I'll keep quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> Still need a wood. Um, which you could use this turn. I know. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> well, that means I have to take it from there. Yes. And I want both those cards. <laughs> I'm taking both those cards. As foundations? As foundations. Oh man, I wanted to. No, we couldn't do that. God damn it. Because you needed money for the palace. Yes, I needed money for the palace. Um, and there's no money to grab at the moment. Oh, stuff it. You know what? I have just built that instead. <laughs> so now I have my flower shop and, you know. So there's only one action you've done so far, which is. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to use my flower stand to. Draw a card from the deck. You love that flower stand. I do love the flower stand. I like it. Right, so it's a star ability. So, just to show you guys. Um, which means you can use one star ability at a, a turn. So she now can't use this one for mm. this turn. But she doesn't have any resources to change anyway. So you're taking the windmills uh, foundation. Mm. So you need wheat. So start of my turn. Reveal a barracks. So there's no marble out here, but there's lots of wood. Uh, these do. Oh my god! Yeah. I just saw that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna mess that up by taking that as a wood, <laughs> so no one can get that. What we were joking about there is the inner and outer moat, 
um, score two points if you have the opposite one. So on their own, they do nothing, but together they're worth four points. I can't help but feel like that's incredibly silly of you. I know. I what are you doing? But the, the reason why I don't want them is because they don't count towards anything that I need. Oh, they count as this. both. I know. And they count for four. I know. And there might be another card in here. I know. Um, I can't believe you're thinking about this. <laughs> Fine, you convince me. I'll take them both as foundations. Let me just say for the record, if he wins, it's because I played the game for him. <laughs> okay. Okay, what do I want? Um... I need a lot of resources now. Um. There's only one wheat out there. I know, I know. Okay, I think I might actually take that as a foundation. Foundation. And what do you need? Lots. I need wood, marble, or stone rather, wheat. <laughs> so I'm good to go. The only thing I don't need is money at the moment. Okay, well, I guess take. Oh, I don't know what I want. Okay, fine. No, I'm gonna take this just because. There we go. I'm done. Okay. We fill up. We're a storehouse and a back alley. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna take this orchard here, um, for the stone. So now I've got the two stone and the wood, which builds my church. So it's not desperate that I needed to build that, but it's in the bag now, and obviously. It counts towards end of game scoring stuff, so it wasn't desperate that I needed to do that. Um, but I'm going to I think I'm going to take there's only one of the stone out here, so I'm going to take the stone. And I'm going to build it there. I just did your beginning of the turn stuff for you. Mm hmm Okay. Um. Ooh, I like that one. That is a pain. Right, I'm going to use my flower stand. Let's make an extra. Put an extra one. Um. Store house ability is interesting. Discard this building to build a foundation for free. So you can bypass things like gold cost for the vineyard. You don't want me to take that so you can get the other stuff. <laughs> Stuff it, you know what? I'm gonna take that. <laughs> My plan worked. Mm. So, you're going for the, the ability award to get all the actions. So, that basically eats that, which gives me a windmill. All right, so now you have two star abilities. Well, technically, I have three. Well, yeah. But I, I don't think this counts as a building, so... No, yeah, it's just your basic... Okay. So because she used the ability to add one there, I only have to get reveal one new card. And it's the Festival. Well, it's interesting. Uh, the way the awards work, if Carla... What's she got? She needs... Well, she's not going to... I can't see her build... She could build a barracks next turn. So... I need to pull my finger out. 
think. I'm going to use this art gallery for the coin, but I'm going to spend that immediately to take this funda in for the foundation, which is going to go there. So that wasn't a big turn, but I have a plan. I'm just refilling for you. <laughs> <laughs> Such a force of habit to refill. <laughs> okay. Um, gosh. I think I am going to use that wheat. And... because I don't want you to have it. <laughs> okay. So that's my turn. Do a couple of new cards. Alright, I need a wood and a wheat. There's no wheat out there. How disappointing. Um, so I'm going to take this trading post as a wood. See, you like the trading post. A wood? Yeah. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Um, the ability does not exist. <laughs> So there's no wheat, which is annoying, but there is stone, so I'm going to take that stone and I'm going to build the outer moat. Okay, so... I... Mm, I'm going to build this. And I have the storehouse, so that means. Oh, actually, I guess I can. So that means I have now got one, two, three star abilities, which mm. means this comes to me, and Jason has one more turn where he can also score from that if he builds three of something. Three of something. Um, I am going to activate my flower stand just to see if I can get something else. Hmm, that's interesting. Might grab that. Okay. So let's fill again. All right. So basically, I have to build. No, I can't do that. Oh, because you got no money. No. Go away. You stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Well, you can't have that either, so I'll just take it for the coin. <laughs> you could have taken the bakery for the coin. I could have, but, you know, then you would have taken the lodge. <laughs> and you're not allowed that. Um, okay, so basically, like Carla was saying, she's just picked up the uh, ability award. Um, I have one crown. If I can build two more crown uh, buildings this turn, we can both score two points from that award. That ain't going to happen, so I'm not going to worry about that. What I was going for is I'm still looking for a wheat so I can build my inn. Um, but that has not happened, as no wheat has come out. So instead, I'm going to take this theatre for the money. I'm just going to slide that under there because money is useful from time to time. So I'm going to do that. And I am also going to... Take this bakery as a foundation. It's just going to go there. Well, that's your turn. <laughs> so we've got the cheese stand and the tea house. Okay. Um, so. Housing buildings, is that the, the, oh, yellow, the ones. yellow ones? Okay. Okay, so I'll build this one. So it only has a coin cost, which means as soon as I pay the foundation cost, it's automatically available to me. 
It's interesting with all the star abilities you have. You can only use one a turn, so it's, it becomes less interesting to build them because you can't use them all. It's true, but I have a plan which might backfire horribly on me, but <laughs> I'm trying. Um, and of course, none of them count towards the most non-housing buildings. Yeah, I've, I've decided <laughs> you can have that one. Um, you better hope the next yeah. judge that comes had like stars. So you went for gold. I went for gold. All right. Fortress and a bank. Ooh, the bank costs four gold. So that's where that storage. Have you got the storehouse built? You do. <gasps> if you take that, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any wheat out there? There's still no wheat! Oh, come on! <laughs> what we're laughing at here is basically Carla's got the storehouse, which I read out earlier, which is you can discard this building to build a foundation for free. The bank costs four gold, right? That's quite expensive, whereas four points. So she's basically sacrificing two points for four points. But the bank costs one fewer for each commerce building in your district. I never read that. It only costs two now for you. You install. But I'm not going to be that mean and take it. That is something I'd only do if D was playing. <laughs> but there's still no friggin' wheat. Which is annoying as hell. Come on. I need wheat for this. I need wheat for this. Or this and this. So. I think I might take another one. <laughs> What he's actually laughing about, folks, is not what he's just said. It's because he knows he's going to be an asshole in about two seconds. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> this is a fortress. Until your next turn, no one may use uh, hammer or star abilities. <laughs> but that's only a one sort of Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, do what you're gonna do. Oh, no, I'm just looking at. I'm you liar! You're gonna take the bank. Well, this one could be good for me. Score two points if your district has two or more housing buildings. I'm busy mm. building two housing buildings now. Just can get friggin' wheat. Um, so I'm tempted by that, and there's a wood there to start building this. So I'm gonna let you have the bank for now. I'm gonna do what I need. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take this as a wood, and I'm going to build that on there, and then it's your turn. Okay. Ah. Now we've got the other. So the new judge came out, and he's looking for commerce buildings. Well, you started, Carl's already got two of those in play, and I've got one on the, on the build. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my festival to purchase the bank. The festival's this, uh, star ability is discard this building. Uh, why am I doing that? Discard this building to have two... Um, gold to spend yeah, on your turn. Exactly. So I've got two gold to spend, which means I then will purchase that because he costs two less. Yeah. And so it's an upgrade of one to four points. Which is decent. You still got one action left. I do. I'm just Actually, thinking about it. Do you? Yes, I do. You might have both your actions still left. Yeah, in fact, you do. Does it not oh, count? Oh, no, you no, actually. You actually yeah, yeah. That was the action, yeah. yeah. So essentially, I've taken the foundation, but it goes straight up. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will. Take the uh, stone. There's a wheat out there, and I'm just keeping my mouth shut so you don't take that. <laughs> well, I didn't need the wheat, so there's no. It would literally just be to mess you over. Yes. Well, I'm taking that wheat. Finally, it's going to go onto my inn. The reason why I've been wanting to build the inn for a while is now yeah. I have the church and the inn, which are both cost three resources. That means that triggers the sturdy ability. So those get discarded. So the sturdy award is if he's two buildings that cost three or more resources slash gold. 
So. Three or more? Yeah. Huh. Have you got three or more? No, but I didn't the pick up on that last time. The bank lost three or more. Three, so... I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> so, technically, you needed to be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we both just scored that. Oh, huh. Stupid so wheat. I could go in the middle then, yeah. I guess. Okay, so that was my first action, which was to grab that <laughs> wheat. And then I'm still looking for more wood. I think I'm going to take this as well. And I'm going to build this. I just realized something. What's that? That is facing that way. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, and I've just built the tavern. So that's my two actions done. Just going to move that out of the way because it will block my... Uh, Sugar. My view. Right, so... Got the armory and the statue out. That is interesting. If you have no foundations, start a foundation from the card row. It's like a free foundation action. Mm. It's like getting the tea house for one. Yeah. I'll shut up now because you seem to be working off my tactics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um I should really start building my crap now, shouldn't I? So I think I'm going to take Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what I want to do. Tea house is gold. Yeah, I don't know if I should. No, not as gold as um. Oh, yeah, stone. But I think maybe. You need two gold for that. I do need two gold for that, but I've got this, which is what I'm thinking. What does that do? It allows me to discard the card for. Oh yes. But I'm not sure that's worth. It's just upgrading for two, and I'm yeah. not. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. Um, okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take this, the canal. Ah, oh, I'll look at the canal. I know you do. <laughs> so you're done, yeah? You have two actions. So, watchtower and the ballroom. Okay, so I'm going to take this armory for the wheat, which will build my bakery. Boom. So that was my first action. And then I still need wheat and wood. Um, I'm going to take this. We're running low on cards, so maybe I should start thinking about. Not really. I mean, we, we just crossed the sort of oh, halfway mark. Ballroom is a good upgrade for your storehouse. Shut up. <laughs> I'm taking the wood. Don't you dare! I'm, oh, I'm, I'm taking it as wheat. <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> uh, fine. That's your go. Just <laughs> messed up my victory. I almost didn't see it. Oh, well. man. I'm so annoyed you saw that. <laughs> Okay, what do I want to do? Right, I guess I will... I'll take those two as they would, just to complete my courtyard. Alright, we've got a manor and a butcher shop. Okay, so I still need wood to finish this. Um, so I might as well do that now. I'm going to take this as a wood. 
and build the inner moat. So now I've got the inner moat and outer moat built. That's four points in the bag. Um, and I'm considering we're tied culture buildings at the moment. I'm thinking of taking the statue. Yes, I'm going to take the statue. So I'm going to take that as a foundation, and then it's your go. Okay, um, I'm going to use my flower stands ability and just get an extra card into play. Huh. One victory point for each three gold stored under your family crest. Mm -hmm. Max three. You got two there already. Yeah, yeah. That's just because you're trying to distract me from whatever else you want up here. <laughs> um. Okay. Guess I'm gonna. Use those two to build my barracks. Wow, you're really going heavy on the stars. It's like everything except one building has star abilities. It gives you good versatility on your actions. You got lots of options to manipulate what you're doing. Well, it depends on what you're doing. For me, it's not so much. Oh, that's interesting. That seems like a no-brainer. I'm going to take this as a gold, and then I'm going to use the gold that I have. Spend both of them to build this fountain. You are such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's a nice, easy... Um, this is a really good card for this particular playthrough. It was easy to build with just the two gold. Gold's obviously quite expensive. It's got no <laughs> ability, and it's culture, so it triggers for both of those. So, I'm pretty happy with that. That's my turn done. Over to you. Shush. Don't talk to me no more. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not going to get the build down castle this time. I can't see that happening. Although... Mm. I might have to try and build the town castle because you basically negated my, like, you know, victory condition plan here. <laughs> <sighs> Ugh, stuff it. I'll do that. And I will take the... What do you need? Stone and wood. So it doesn't really matter. Um. Okay. Gardens. My castell. Score one for each building type in your district. One, two, three. Oh, that's pretty good. I've got all five building types. And the, how much? Oh, but it's quite expensive. Goodness me. Ah, uh, but then I need. I'm not so desperate about this statue now that I've got my fountain built. Uh, the house. Didn't I have a trigger ability for the house? Yes, for the tavern. So I need to build the house. Okay. You're winning quite comfortably on the... I'm not winning. You are building. winning. Commerce buildings. Stop so. it. You don't need any more points. <laughs> Stop looking at my crap. Look at your own stuff. Okay. So I think I'm going to take the gardens see, as a foundation. And then I'm going to take this blacksmith as a stone and stick it under there. That's me done. 
it's going to be a tight squeeze whether or not I finish that. Now maybe I've made a mistake. Yeah, in fact, I did make a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> There's not many cards left, and I should build the house first. That was me being greedy. Okay, that's my turn. All right, so let's get the house built first. So that well and the sawmill for two wood. We'll build the house. Done. Okay. okay, so we got one card left in the deck. So what that means is I was the first player, so we'll play an equal number of rounds. So I'll get a go, then Carter will get an equal amount of rows, and then we reshuffle the deck, and then we get one more turn each. So effectively, we have like two turns each. No, you have three. So you will actually get to build your town castle. Okay, um, I'm going to take that. Oh, she's going for more. And then I'm going to take that. Okay. So that refills this. But it's still one short, so we shuffle the discard pile. Just to refill it. So this is my last turn. And you go one more turn, I believe. So I cannot build the gardens, which is annoying. What do you need to build that big thing? More stone. Oh, there's no stone out there. <laughs> That's a bit annoying, more annoying for me that I couldn't build that even if I wanted to. So. Um, I guess that's not really a great option here for me. I guess I will take this for the wheat and this for the wood. Alright, and then your last turn, Carla. Did a stone come out? You lucky, lucky dog. <laughs> you can actually build both of them. Uh, yeah, stone and wood. Hmm. <clears throat> right, um, so I use that one to build my castle, a town castle, and I'll use. That one there. Build the to build my staples. None of your stars have you anything to do this turn? Um, draw, but actually mm. it wouldn't. So it could have actually, I even mean, if you didn't stone come out, you would have got a stone from the next card. So pretty handy. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Um, any foundations that you haven't finished get discarded, including the resources that was under them. So I didn't finish those, which are quite annoying. Take it this coins that you've gathered coin for nothing, other than... Yeah. Okay, uh, so end of game scoring. Um, what we have, we'll do abilities, uh, sort of judges and stuff first. So we both scored the sturdy award, so that's two points each. Mm -hmm. And you've got the ability award, so that's four points for you. And two points for me. Those are done. And then the judges. So the most non ability buildings. So I got one, two, three. How many you got? I guess I need two. Two. So that's me. So that's two points for me. Um, the most um, cultural buildings. I've got one, two. I've got one. So that's me again. And then the most commerce buildings is you, because I've only got one. So I've scored four points, and you scored two points. So that's the other way around there. And then we score based on our victory points on the um, corners. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's not a lot, actually. Twenty-one, 
21. Oof, that gives you a four point lead at the moment. That castle again. Bloody hell. Okay, and then we do any end of game scoring stuff. So which are the crowns? Okay, so I've got for the in and outer moat, that's worth four points. And my tavern says score two points if your district has two or more housing buildings. I've got two housing buildings, so that's two more points. So that's all my points. How many you got? I've got a courtyard. That's about the only thing out of those. And that allows me to score up to five for every two buildings in my district. So I've got one, two, three, four points. Oh, they might have just done it for you. Is that it? That's it, yeah. Okay, so I got... 6, 23, 27, 29, and you've got 27, 31, that's it, you've done one, <laughs> two points, wow, where did, where did, well you've got a lot of points on your um, buildings, buildings. Yeah. Um, even though I got six points for um, end of game scoring, you only got four, that's a two point, but I did focus on, on grabbing, like, you did actually curb me from doing exactly what I wanted. And I knew you were going to do that, so I had to be careful. Yeah. Um, but essentially, I was trying to go for higher cost of buildings this time, as opposed to where I was going heavy on the abilities last time. So it shows you there's a slight different tactic. Um, I've played it now, and I've tried to do... I've tried to use a different win condition, and the game allows for a comfortable play in attempting a different win condition. So... It makes me quite happy. Well, I'm always driven by the the goals that come out, mm. you know, like the judges and stuff. Um, so they obviously push me in a direction. Yeah. But uh, that uh, that town castle there again won you the game there. Well, yeah. it did because essentially, I I consciously chose not to go for high costing buildings last time. I wanted to do it with through the abilities. So that's why I went for the inner and the outer modes, etc. But this time around, I wanted to see whether or not I could focus on higher cost of bu buildings and obviously see whether there were mechanisms to facilitate so although you had those things that um, helped you like with the stir the awards and the judges um, I actually if you look at my points I actually didn't go for any of those except for one set I didn't want to you know mm. if things didn't pan out I still wanted something in the bag but um, it, it allowed me even though Jason on two or three occasions took what I would have been aiming for um, it still allowed me to try my my win condition without affecting my play the game's always majorly. very close i mean this is our second mm. game today uh the first game beat me by 33 32 and there it was also based on uh, they um you only uh, end of these points were only by one mm. um, but it was the um, judges that got you over the line there yeah so yeah there you go so you can see it's a very quick game uh town builder kufordan that's on Kickstarter at the moment. There will be a link in the description in the show notes below. So you can click on that. It'll take you straight to the Kickstarter. It's got about um, 17 or 16 days left from when we filmed this. Uh, it's already funded. I have the Kickstarter open here behind me. Hold on, let's have a quick look. It's gone over almost 12,500 um, from its initial goal of just under six. Well, what is its price bracket? Um, just for interest sake. It's about a ten or fifteen dollar game. Yeah, so you can get the game for fifteen dollars. Oh no, that's a retail, but it's twenty dollars. Canadian dollars. So twenty Canadian dollars. Years. Yeah. So it's a very affordable game. It's obviously very quick, very portable. Um it's very in sort of a nondescript theme, you know, just building a little town. Yeah, I mean I I mean Jason said that it's not very he heavy on the theme. Um I don't know if I feel that it's not heavy on the theme. I think it brings the theme quite clearly through. You, you've got your resources, you're building your buildings. Essentially, you're just building a little town. Yeah. And it allows you to construct it whichever way you like as well, which is kind of nice. Um, I think, considering the price bracket, and, I mean, this is just, you know, this is pretty good for a, you know, for a, a demo copy. There's a lot of variety as well. You've got, obviously, different judges. They give you the different uh, scorings. And because they come up halfway through the game, especially in a three and four player game, you don't always know what they are. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, the awards, there's a stack of awards as well. 
with different things. So, like for example, you get four buildings or three different types of buildings. Cool. All so there's a bit, there is quite a bit of variety there. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite compact as well. I mean, the box. Um, you know, I don't have giant hands yet, but it's not very big. But I think easily you could take this out and stick it in oh, a yeah. in a small um, like deck box and take it along. So I think it's quite portable. So. Well, there we go. There's our uh, play view, play through preview of a town builder Kaforden from First Fish Game, First Fish Games. Uh, I know they would uh, love your support if you guys want to go check out the Kickstarter. Obviously, every every little penny counts, and uh, that'll help them get to. The